Hey, what's up, everybody? Jed Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Um, working on expanding the qualification uh, capabilities for reaching nationals qualification. I'm running the Grip Sport uh, Nationals, the U.S. Championship, on June 3rd. And uh, looking at the qualifications, they haven't been updated in a while. Basically, it's been since 2016. And a lot of the events that are on here don't get contested much because, uh, you know, things have a tendency to evolve and you go away from certain lifts, go back towards other lifts. So uh, what I was thinking about was one of the one of the lifts that's very widely contested is uh, Little Bighorn. Uh, and most recently it's been done to a six inch lift. So I was looking and uh, the Rolling Thunder numbers seem to be really close. So for like... 59 kilos, it's 125, 66 kilos, 140, 74, 150, 83, 160, 93, 170, 105, 180, 120, 190, 120 plus, 200. So I reached out to my buddy Luke and to also Eric Rusain, and they both thought they were pretty good. Luke thought they might, might want to add 10 pounds to it. And then uh, Eric said that, uh, you know, maybe go by the the top 100 list and he suggested using using lifts that had at least 100 results and um you know when you you can qualify at a sanctioned meet by finishing in the top top three so uh by by looking at the numbers um for the little big horn this is what i came up with just by eyeballing everything um 59 kilos, looked like about 100 pounds was a good number based on the results. And then for each one, I added 25 pounds. So it goes 66 is 125, 74 is 150, 83 is 175, and then 93 um, would have been 200. Now, after 93 kilos, there is not a real significant, it's not a real significant increase once the body weight goes up to see any kind of increase in numbers. So for instance, um, the number one result there in the 93 kilos is Tim Butler at 244. Uh, the 105, it's Tanner Merkel, 265, and then it goes right down to 244, uh, Krivik Ivan. And then for the 120, it actually drops. It goes to 233 for Thomas Larson. And then for the 120 plus, it's 255 and drops to 237 for James Jeffers. So I did the 25 pound increases from 100, 125, 150, 175. Then for 93, 105, 120, I put 200 and uh, 210 for the 120 plus. As it turns out, the numbers are pretty darn close for the, if you go at the top third, if you go at the top third of, of each weight class, the numbers are real close. So the numbers I grabbed, um, I'll, I'll read first. It was 100. The top third is 115. Um, the, the number I grabbed was 125. The top third is 160. So that's kind of a big difference. But things get really close now. The top third, uh, the number I grabbed for the 74 kilo was 150 and then 166 for the top third. Number I grabbed for 83 was 175 and it's 177 for the top third. For uh, 93, I grabbed 200, and the top third is 199. 105, I grabbed 200, and the top third is 221. For the 120, I grabbed 200, and the number, the top third is 198. And then I had uh, grabbed 210, and the um, the top third was 216. So those are pretty close. A lot of those are within like a few pounds. Then, uh, you know, the Rolling Thunder, um, looking at that, it went 125, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200. And if I add 10 pounds to those, it's still really close to the top third number or the spacing number that I just grabbed from the beginning. So the for the, um, for the Rolling Thunder, it's 125. If we had 10, you know, that's actually kind of really high. Because the top number for the 59 kilos is only 117. So we could kind of disregard that. But everything else is pretty close. 66 kilos, the Rolling Thunder number is 140. 
Top third is 160. We could make that 150, no problem. Um, for the 74, the Rolling Thunder number is 150. We had 10 to that, it's 160, and the top third is 166. The Rolling Thunder is 160. We had 10 to that, and you get 170, and the top third is 177. The one the Rolling Thunder for 93 is 170. You add 10 to that, you get 180. The top third is 199. Um, the for the 105, the Rolling Thunder is 180. You add 10 to that, you get 190, and the top third is 221. But again, they get really close here at the end. 190 for the Rolling Thunder for the 120 class. You add 10, you get 200, and the top third is 198. The 120 plus Rolling Thunder number is 200. You add 10 to that, you get 210. That's pretty darn close to the 216, which is the top third. So I think that's what we're going to go for uh, pretty much with the, we're just going to add 10 pounds to the Rolling Thunder number for the little bighorn right now. As we look at that, it might get adjusted again, but that's that's what we're looking at. That, it, that expands the list a little bit. Um, and the little bighorn is a very common implement, so I think it makes sense to use that as a qualifier list. Qualifying lift, I should say. Um, so the top third, the, the next event that I looked at was adjustable thick bar. And I know that this doesn't get contested nearly as much, but it did have 100 uh, entries in the overall, 100 or more. So I broke it down into weight classes. And 59, um, the top lift is an unbelievable 233 by Paul Bloom. But then it drops right down in second place to 159 um, for the 59 kilo class. So I put the, I grabbed a number of 150. Um, the best lift in the 66 kilo class was by CA Charland Lefevre, uh, 200 pounds. And then the second place, Mark Martin Die with 188. I grabbed 175. Um, for the 74 kilo class, First place is 249 pounds uh, by Uo Levy Lane. It drops down to 223 for Colton Collard in second place. I grabbed 200 there. Um, the top third ends up being 205. The um, For 83 kilo, it's Nico Irola, 288 pounds. Then it's Fene Muhonen, 261 pounds. Michael Rogowski in third, 252 pounds. I grabbed 225, and the top third ends up being 227. In the 93 kilo class, Ivan Bear Tashfully was at 316, Fene Mahonen 282, and Mike McKenzie 276. Looking at the rest of the numbers, I grabbed 250, and then it turns out the top third is 253. Um, in the 105, we've got Steve Millard, 340 pounds, Adam Glass, 303 pounds, Maddie Haru, 293 pounds, and Eric Rusain, 290 pounds. I grabbed 270, and uh, the top third is 277. For the 120 class on the adjustable thick bar, Alexander Azanovsky, 305, Ari Peltoma, 288, Dave Thornton, 278, I grabbed 275. The top third is 246. So you can see, actually, as the weight goes up there from the 105 to 120, the top third actually drops about 30 pounds, 277 to 246. So <clears throat> for the 120 plus, we had you, you, how are you? 342, Steve Gardner, 331, Tony Lane, 330, Chris Lowe, 323. So I grabbed 300, turns out the top three, uh, the top third is 275. So this is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go um, with just my grabbed number for the first four, all right? So it's 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. 275 would be um, a fairly good jump, but I think it's gonna be 250 for the 93, 260 for 105, 270 for 120, and then uh, 280 for 120. So those are the numbers that uh, that I came up with. I'll try to show you these. Uh, it's not going to work. Um, but just to review, 59 kilo, it's going to be 150. 66 kilo, 175. 74, it's going to be 200. And the top three was 205. Top third was 205. 
83 kilo is going to be 225 and the top third was 227. 93 it's going to be 250 and the top third was 253. 105 it's going to be 260 the top third was 277. 120 it's going to be 270 the top third was 246 and then uh, 120 plus it's going to be 280 and the top third was 275 so all those are pretty darn close. To review the little bighorn one more time the six inch lift um, it's going to be 140 the top third uh, excuse me the 140 the top third was 115. Uh, that's really the only outlier. Everything else is really, really close. It's going to be, for the 66 kilo, it's 150. The top third was 160. For 74, it's going to be 160. The top third was 166. 83 kilos, it's going to be 170. The top third was 177. 93 kilos, it's going to be 180. The top third was 199. 105, it's going to be 190. The top third was 221. 120, it's 200. The top third was 198. And then 120, it's going to be 210. The top third was 216. So just wanted to make it clear what I was looking at here. And hopefully if there's any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. I'll let you know. But this really explains it all. Just basing it on um, lifts that have been done and uh, contested enough so that there's been at least 100 results. Um, a main guideline was the top third in order to reach the top third in the weight class and then to make it somewhat sequential and make it make sense so it's uh, visually makes sense when you look at it on a list. So um, hope I hope everybody's happy with that. I want it to be fair and uh, make sense and uh, be clear and real easy. Okay, this is what we're doing. Yeah, that makes sense. It's in sequential order. Boom. That's what it's all about. All right. Thanks, everybody. Give it one of these if you're happy with it. Give it one of these if you're not. And uh, let, if you give it one of these, then leave a comment so we can discuss it. Give me feedback. Thanks. All the best in your training. Take care.